The sun is rising, not just on this Wednesday in Toronto, but another season for the Toronto Raptors down at Scotiabank. It's the season opener. It's the home opener tonight against Cleveland. Game time, 730. Get in the seats early because there's always stuff going on. Our favorite Raptor fan, John Paul, Breakfast Television correspondent, standing by live inside of Scotiabank Arena <laughs> and donning all the proper apparel. <laughs> JP, good morning. JP, you're 12 hours early. I love your dedication. Yes. Morning, people. Good morning, Sid. Good morning, Dina. And finally, the raps have come back to Toronto. That's right. It is a season opener and home opener right here in the lovely Scotiabank Arena. And I'm joined by my new best friend, the VP of Operations and Player Development, Teresa Resch, everybody. Give it up for Teresa. Good morning. Good morning. I also love that your uh, initials are T and R, like Toronto Raptors. So I it think, was meant to be. See, There's was only meant one to be. job for me, and I was working for the Toronto Raptors, Teresa Resch, right? And that's what I love. So as a fan, like, I, don't, I don't know if you understand the anxiety and the love that this city has for this team and the whole country, by extension. Uh, can you tell us what we as the fans could look forward to on this home opener right here, season opener. What can we expect? I mean, you can expect what you've come and known and love about the Raptors. I mean, we did a GM survey, so all the teams in the NBA got to vote who had the best home court advantage, and Toronto won. For so real? the entire league knows what we have here in Toronto is special, and we cannot wait for the fans to come back. I mean, you can even see, everybody gets a shirt, so come and get your shirt, but also there's gonna be super exciting. Our team is young, exciting. Um, we get to play open up against Cleveland, which made a bunch of offseason changes to really be a competitor. That's so awesome. it's going to be a great matchup, too. Um, it's going to be great this season. We're really looking forward to really leaning back into Toronto. You know, we were back last year from yeah. Florida. And then we had a fans couldn't come for a little bit. So we're excited to be back to normal and all the fans coming back all the time, creating the energy that got us the title of best home core advantage. And I think that's what I think we as the fans and we as a city are, are most excited about is this is the first time in years that we've been able to celebrate our team from the beginning to the end. And we weren't even supposed to make the playoffs according to the <laughs> experts. Never listen to the experts. The experts. Never listen but we to did them. it, you know. And you talk about that young team who I'm super excited about. Rookie of the year, my man Scotty B. Uh, Freddie V. Fred Van Vliet is coming back. Uh, one of the, my favorites is uh, uh, Chris Chris Boucher is going to be back, too, as well. Uh, that's an old Waterboy reference. You might not get it. Uh, <laughs> she's like, what is he doing? Uh, so how happy are the guys to be back home? Oh, we're, we're really excited to be back home. We actually, during preseason, we got to travel across the country, Edmonton, Montreal. We did training camp in Victoria. And it was the first time we were able to do that in years. And it was just so fun to just see the entire country embrace Toronto and the Raptors. So we're really excited to be here in Toronto and give our hometown crowd a, a big show. And is everybody feeling like, is there an energy? Is oh, everybody hyped. like, yeah, everybody's just like, you know? Yeah, I mean? there's so, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're in second grade playing rec ball, if you're an NBA player, or you're like me in the adult rec leagues, that first <laughs> game back, that season opener, you always have, you know, a little bit of the, the butterflies, a little bit of that extra energy just because you want to get going. And yep. that's that's so true even for our professional guys, whether you're the rookie or you've done it for yep. 16 seasons like we have on our on our team this year. Home opener is always very special. And it's a super great organization. And just the ambiance and the energy that this city brings is, is absolutely amazing. And we love our team and we can't wait till they hit the court. Um, is it, what, what would you like the fans coming to the game to know? Oh, just come, be excited. We're excited to have you here. Bring your energy, and we're going to match it on the court. That's what I'm loving. Who's your favorite player? Are you allowed nope, to say? No, nope, I'm a parent. Love them all the same. They're all my favorites. <laughs> Clearly, you're not a real parent because uh, <laughs> parents always have a favorite. Oh, okay. Noted. Noted. Just saw, saw right through that. But I'm super excited because everybody seems to be back from Spicy P. Uh, shout out to my man, Nick Nurse. I see you jamming on the jazz stage, my friend. And you're about to bring that jazz here to Toronto. I, and and I, I really can't wait. Is there anything that we should know that uh, an upcoming season, any? I mean, you know, you're just going to have to come to the arena and find out. Um, if, you, if you have any questions, though, about coming just make sure to go to scotiabankarena.com they have all the information about what you can bring them all that jazz but come here and you'll feel it 
we got some things ready for you this season. All right, cool. Especially uh, home over. We, we do have some surprises for the opener um, as far as, like, the show that starts the game. But I'm not going to give away any of those not, surprises. No spoilers. I'll just say last, last year we had Cardinal official be uh, performed. Shout out to my man so, Cardi. You know, just saying we have something special planned again this year. Sure.